Welcome back everybody and yes we're back at the caravan as you can see I've already started work let's show you what we've been doing one panel is up there I know there's a gap there that's because the actual shower ends about here and I've cut another panel down here and chopped out the corner for the pipes that are going through and that needs to be stuck against this wall just here so hopefully I'm going to stand you over here on the side and you can watch me do a bit of work. Alright so plenty of blobs of Sikaflex on there. Now I just got to put the board up. Shower tray. Oh. Right, so there you go, there's that panel up. I know a lot of people brace the panels between walls and stuff, but I'm not going nowhere. And that's definitely not going nowhere. Right. <clears throat> right. So that's that in place. Finished, I say. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Just put that in my down there. Right. We've gone for the shallow waste. So that's going to go there. And from that, this is going to go out through the floor of the van and enter into the waste tank. So that fits in the end of there, like so, nice and easy. Right, so I've had a look at the chassis underneath and where that lies to the old hole and I'm going to drill a hole come 18 inches in perfect right, let's pull the shower tray back out and lift that Right, so what I'm going to do here now, get my hole saw that's big enough to 
to get this pipe through to the bottom. Drill here. Now the old shower hole or shower drain hole there, which is no longer going to be used, will be filled up with something like some expanding foam or something, just to ensure that that doesn't go anywhere really. And um, so yeah, the frame I'm going to sicker down to the floor and um, this will have some sicker flex on here and sicker flex that to the base of the frame. I'm going to drill a small hole to make sure there's nothing underneath that I'm going to hit. underneath to see where that drill has come out. Right, plenty of room underneath and I won't hit anything. Right. There you go, there's a the hole, and that will fit nicely down through there. Gives me room to bend it. So my next job is to fit the, tra the trap on the bottom. Of the shower tray. That's how thick the caravan floor is. Look at the wood they use, either side of that insulation. That's not very thick. Scary, very scary. Right, so now the shower tray is in place. shallow trap is in place and the waste pipe is now fed through the bottom of the van we now need to put a connector into the tank that's going to connect that pipe to the tank and what we're going to use is one of these this is a 40 mil push fit um, tank connector so I've got to put that in here somewhere and first of all, I need to figure out where the tank is going to go underneath and then figure out the position of this. This is just one of three connectors. Right, we've had an interesting day today. The shower is now in. The shower tray is all fitted. So I've got to put some trim across the top. And that is where all the recycling shower equipment is going to go filters the boiler and the pump and everything so but now we're going to be going outside because i've got to go and fit this tank underneath and i now have the right size hook bolts i misjudged it i've got to allow for the height of the chassis and that's not the first time i've done it but hey ho no one's perfect
Right, so what we've got to do now is go over the other side. I've got to put some like foam matting either side of the tank to protect it from rubbing on the bars and to uh, level it out at the top. And then we can bolt it into place, feed the pipe in for the drain from the shower and prep it to come back tomorrow and do some more. Right, that's not going anywhere. I just need to go and cut a little bit of pipe for this to fix onto here. And then we're ready to go. I'm back. Right, so, got these bits and pieces. So first of all, I know we've got two ends to pipe. So we put that on there like that. Then the ring just inside. And then this rubber wash is just tapered. 
and the tapered end faces in towards this pipe. So, push that on there and let's tighten that up. Right, so if we tighten that up, that's in there as tight as it goes, that's all good. Right, so now we fix this <coughs> inside the push fit of the tank, which is in there. Now that's in there nice and tight, but like I said to you earlier, I'm going to put a bit of gaffer tape around there, I think, just to keep it in place. Although, I, I don't think that's actually going anywhere, if I'm honest. So the water's going to run straight down here, into the tank, and then it's going to be drawn back out through a pipe coming off of here back up into the van and through all the filter system and the hot water heater and then back out through the and back out yeah and then back out through the shower and it just keeps recirculating and recirculating so a lot of people call these things the hour shower um, some call them a recirculating shower, some call them a recycling shower. So yeah, it's up to you what you call it, but me, it's a recirculating shower because the water recirculates. And that's all I'm afraid of all I've got time for today and all I can do. So you've seen me put the tank up, you've seen me connect this pipe up, you've seen me put the shower tray in, the panels are in. And what I'll leave the actual piping up and everything else for another video because I think for me, for you, and this will go on forever. And um, you're going to see it as we go along, and then the moment we test it and turn it on, we'll see if it works or not. I hope it does. <laughs> right, that's all I've got time for for now, and that's all I've got time for today. So I hope you're all staying safe staying very very well and most of all staying extremely happy in these crazy times and it's bye for now